welcome back to my channel i hope you all are having a blessed day today i'm doing another look using the elf retro paradise glam um kind of look and i'm doing it with a bowed lip since fall is coming and i am so excited i thought that we would do a more neutral eye using the palette today so let's get started I primed my eyes using the Maybelline Master Prime Eye Primer and I used AOA Studio Loose Powder to catch my fallout because some of these shadows are powdery. And the first shade I'm taking is Sandy Bum from the palette. Any cool kind of toned brown you have will work for this brown. I'm just using this for like a transition shade in the crease and we're going to windshield wiper this shade in our crease work it up to the brow bone fade that out towards the brow bone and i'm just really messily doing this like i always say this is like the part of the look you can be the most messy with and i almost guarantee you your transition color will be fixed if you mess up i'm taking cacao from the palette which is a dark brown like a dark chocolate brown or a dark coffee brown and I'm placing that in the outer corner with a small pencil brush and I'm building that up now I'm going over it with the brush I used for Sandy Bum some of the names in this palette are so cute and as you can tell I'm holding that towards the end so I have less control and I can really feather those two shades together and I'm using the NYX Pigment Primer and I'm placing that on the lid. This is some really great stuff, especially if you have a chunky, um, shimmery eyeshadow or just a pigment in general, a loose shadow. Uh, will very, it will help anything stick to your lid. Like, it is very awesome. Well, Sea Salt is this shade and it is a very beautiful, shimmery, chunky white and it is it's so beautiful so I'm just gonna press that into the pigment primer you do not have to use a pigment primer you can use whatever you have if you have a glitter glue that would work too so I'm just going to we're really just going to keep pressing the eyeshadow and then we're going to go in with the cacao shade so we're building that up some more and blending down edges also you'll see that the cacao shade started grabbing on to the pigment primer and it looks a little dark in that area but i still wanted to row with it i still love how this look came out in the future i would be more cautious so if you have this product I'd, you know all the shadows could grab onto this so just you know just be cautious of that now I used canvas from the palette as the brow bone highlight and here you're gonna see me going all over all the shades doing additional adding shade and blending and wiping away fallout you're gonna see all that here and then I use my loose powder on a sponge just to clean up the outer edges and I'm going in with sandy bum and I'm placing that on the lower lash line really gonna buff that in and in the inner corner I'm placing sandy bomb so I'm gonna tight line with Jordana black point pencil and um, just doing the upper rim with this NYX jumbo pencil in the waterline just to open the eyes up and you can use a nude eyeliner for this as well I just had NYX like um, jumbo milk pencil right there and this is a metallic liner from LA colors and it is in gold and it is so beautiful and I think this all pairs together nicely and you could use um you could do all the brown eyeshadow in this look and then add whatever color to your lid and it will be absolutely stunning and that was Bully Beauty High Drama Mascara and this is Wet n Wild Liquid Lipstick in Behind the Bleachers and we're going I've already applied that it's a nice um bowed lip and I love how this look turned out except for you know the cacao shadow being like a little grabby onto that primer but that's okay and that was elf cooldown mist and the look is done I thought it came out very beautiful and stunning and it's definitely a toned down 
glam version of the looks that we have been doing. It's still glam and out there and beautiful, but it is a little bit toned down. It's using the neutral shades in the palette, so I thought some of you would really enjoy that. So I thank you for watching. Don't forget to like the video, comment, subscribe, and ring the bell if you haven't already. Stay tuned for more videos. Check the description box for additional links and a product list.